Hey guys, King of Aria here, and welcome back to Let's Play Terraria. I finished laying out the skeleton of what it is I want to build. But, there is a couple things that I do want to build. Wait, we want to move over to the anvil. What was the recipe? I need three of them. So I believe we need two chains. Blood Moon. The zombies are stronger, and they will break down your doors. This is essentially a taste of what is to come. Even the music plays somewhere else, but I'm not quite sure on the top of my head where. Although I have the feeling I'm right. Ooh, a black lens. All we need is another one. I'm gonna retreat here. Because I think we'll be safer here. If we're lucky, we might find the groom. The groom is a rare zombie that appears in the the forest biome, or whatever this biome is. It drops, it can drop a uh, top hat. I did not expect to get a blood moon. This might end up being an extended episode because of it. Not quite sure how long these uh, days are, although I am aware that they are a little bit longer than the ones in Minecraft. If not by a lot. You want to know why they call it the Blood Moon? Just watch the uh, moon in the background. Watch the background, even. I wish I could run faster. At least, at least a swiftness potion. <coughs> Excuse me. some glow sticks. The spawn rate is magnified in the blood moon. See, look. They invaded my house with no purpose or reason. I had a little bit more than I thought. And a mana crystal. Now we have 20 mana to use. Holy cow. Death lead. Oh crap. I forgot about that. Grab the goldfish. I completely forgot about the corrupted goldfish. During the blood moon, that cute little bunny rabbit's gonna gnaw your head off. That goldfish is gonna want your flesh for dinner. Ah, really? Yeah, this is why you don't want to fight them in close quarters. Chopped up by an eyeball. Really now? 
I don't see anything sharp on them. I knew I should build a platform. Yeah, that's real nice. Look, see? The moon is red. Hmm? What? Apparently, the groom! Hmm, what's hurting who? Ah, uh, Colin. Yep. You don't want to be around a woman on a blood moon. No, Caitlin. You, know you kind of deserve to die at that last comment, really. don't like it when people are mean to me for no reason. Alright. Where is it? Come on, come on. There, there it is. Top hat. It's a vanity item. <clears throat> so you should only equip that in a social slot. It does nothing for your, for your abilities. So only wear it if you really want to distinguish yourself. This is just almost double my death count. I mean, the blood moon is insane. But you gotta admit, the, the bloody looking background is kind of cool. Ooh, is that a star I see? Alright, I'm at 13 stars. I'm at 3 stars and 1 um, star. 13 fallen stars and 1 monostar. Whatever you want to call it. Anything else I want to mention about the Blood Moon? I believe in another biome we haven't seen yet, there is also another rare enemy that only appears during the Blood Moon. Um, you do get an entire set from him, though. If you were to go to the corruption during a blood moon, you'll find the death weed is glowing. And that is how you e get an easy source of death weed. Just look for the glowing plants. The death weed is used in several potions. Although I'm not sure which one's on top of my head. Ooh, the carnage. Blood Moon should never really be your source of income, though. Well, people have created money farms by using uh, corrupted goldfish. But I mean, I don't even have plans to buy things normally. But I, well, I can see why people want to make would want to make a money farm. But I'll get into that later. Maybe people just want to max out their money. See why I love the spear and tridents? Yeah, one black lens. 
No, you don't. Ah, I got away. Hmm. I would have thought that the time would have stopped by now. Well, on to what we were supposed to do. First, let's head back to our little hole, or hut, or whatever they're going to call it. It would appear we're in a wrong kind of table. I do need to put a crafting table. Pretty peculiar. I'll go ask Colin about it, assuming he's still alive. He should be. I want a grappling hook. Gold watch. Silver. Copper. Oh, I needed iron bars, too. That explains a lot. Alright, so... <clears throat> we want two more iron and a sawmill. We'll just place a sawmill up here for now. Doesn't oh, we need a third one? bench, but what we want right now is the loom. Place the loom down here. Now this is where all the cobwebs we gathered will come into play. That is, they're here. Make some silk. I'll just make a lot. Red ban we have banners. Yes, a bed. So we want some wooden beans. I'll just make a whole lot of them. Well, we're almost out of time. So I'll just sort out my inventory for the last 30 seconds or so. Eee. That's a bit of a... Not, that's not really... Planked wall. No, we don't want planked wall. What the wooden beam allows us to do 
the wooden beam allows us to place torches but the, uh, on it, but the block still acts as a background. Really useful if you want to get torches in a specific place without awkward blocks hanging about. Well, that'll be it for today's episode. This is King of Arlia signing off. Have a good day.